Hey guys, what's going on? Trouble here. Today we're going to be playing some more Farming Simulator 2019. Back on Sandy Bay. This is episode number 6, I believe. But yeah, we got the 7210 here today. We're going to be, well as you guys saw in the thumbnail, we'll be mowing. Um, we got a lot of hay to cut. We do have straw bales now, finally. They are in this shed here. We got a big old stack of them. I think we had three trailer loads and three extra, so that's good. And we got the old Chevy over here with the trailer on it. That's looking good. I like this trailer a lot. It just, I don't know. I don't know why. I just like it. But anyway, we're going to buy some more stuff. We have 29000 so we're kind of hurting for money. So mowers, I'd like to buy this one and this one. And I'd also like to buy this one and this one. But these are both kind of expensive, so I think I'm just going to buy this one. That's four meters, that's three. We'll just buy this one. And then, of course, we already have a tether. And I guess we already have a baler, so we could buy this. What else do we would we need, though? Yeah, we'd probably need some of this stuff. Yeah, we'll just buy the big mower. We'll just buy the mower in the front. Or, we can't. I'm going to take out a loan. Take out a loan fast. And we could do some contracts for some money, I guess. Harvest Field 2 with our old combine. We might do that later. Might do that with James. And I'm still not used to this layout. I uh, think it's over here. It's right there. So we got to borrow. We can borrow a good amount. I don't really want to borrow too much. So I'd like to pay it back eventually. Because it is really hard to make like a living in this game. So we're going to go ahead and jump in the uh, 7210. We'll drive it down there. I do need to get some fuel in it. Because that one day I did reset it. And it lost all the fuel because... I tend to reset things when I'm in a hurry. And yeah, so totally forgot about the fuel deal. That's alright. We'll probably fuel down there somewhere. There's gotta be a fuel station somewhere down there. Maybe not. We can always fuel when we get back to the farm. So I'm gonna take this down to the shop, go get the mowers, and we'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, so we're rolling up on the field here. We're going to mow just this little patch up over there. Let's see. Turn here. I think we can go in this gate. Yeah, we can go in right there. Okay. So wide. Drive in. And then that way we can get this mode, and then we can also level it later. Man, why does it want to catch? Okay, we're going to unfold this so that we can swing it. So we can drive it in. There we go. And then we'll back up. And we're going to set our control so that it turns everything on and off real quick. I do have to set up my joystick, so I'm going to do some stuff real quick. A little gamepad. Okay, so we got it set up to where we can lower everything, and I can run the uh, swath with my joystick button, and we should be able to kick the front machine on, switch to the back one, kick it on, I think this button should lower it all. It doesn't, it just lowers the front one. Oh, it lowers, oh, it's in synchronous, so we hit it, it lifts the front. Should be able to swing this all the way out to the side. Just mow along like this. Got a pretty high cruising speed at 13 mile an hour. Um, see, so I got forward and back on there. Kind of steered around the corner. Get back straight. Try and get as much as I can. This hillside is going to be kind of a pain. Try and we'll probably just stay off that as much as we can. 
nestling it in like this. Let me just do that. So, shouldn't really take too long with these two mowers, really. I like this two mower setup. Um, you know, you can you a lot of people run it in real life with the uh, one tractor. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a looks like a tractor, but there's a three point in the front and a loader and all that. I had one in 17, but it's not necessarily that great. So I think I'm just gonna mow around the border again. And then we'll start going back and forth. Shouldn't take us too long. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a time lapse real fast here, because I know you guys like time lapses a lot. So we will get into that here. finishing up here we're gonna lift everything up we might as well fold that mower in shut the front mower off oh, yeah, there we go. all right so we'll probably just park these mowers in the yard I'll probably mow some more this weekend or maybe I'm not sure when but I might mow some more now we'll hook the baler onto this tractor. And then the. We'll just put it in front of the planter for now. And then we'll hook the mower over there. Hook onto the baler. I guess we can push this over here first. Unhook that up there. Back up. Come on, there we go. Alright, we'll shut that off. And then we will jump in the John Deere because I know you guys like to see both these tractors run. And I think let's see, let's hook up to that. Alright, so we're gonna test out the old three-point ability on this tractor. I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've used a three-point on here. Whoops, don't know what I'm doing. Got distracted. Back up here. We got onto that one. We'll leave it unfolded for now. So we don't run into things and break stuff. Get to fold it up a bit too. Feel a little safer. We're gonna get it unfolded. So we're gonna do. Might as well do all of it. Quite get three, not quite. So we're gonna, I suppose we'll Ted most of this, then we'll go back with a rake. If we had James on here, he would be helping me rake right now. That's alright. We can do it one person real fast. And we will cut to the time lapse. So we're all done tedding. We're gonna drop it here and we're gonna go grab the hay rake and we'll start raking. Alright, so we'll unfold it and we'll drop it in the ground. And we should be able to rake it up. Nice windrow. So we'll do this to the whole field and also probably time lapse it.
All right, so we're gonna back this in. We'll put it away here. And then we're probably gonna start bailing. Just back in, unhook it. We'll need a dry spreader next, and I think I'm gonna get a different one. I think I'm gonna trade it off for a little cheaper one, a little older one. But yeah, we're gonna get in the baler. We'll bail it all up, and I'll probably stack those later on just by myself. Well, I might make a video on it. We shouldn't have to use the bale trailer. But we should be able to drop it down, kick it on. And I think it should be bailing. I have to open up my hood to see the bales how full they are. So I think we will probably end it here. We'll bump one bale out. And yeah, we should be able to go a lot, little further with these bales rather than the straw. Bump that one out. So yeah, I'm gonna finish bailing. Probably stack them sometime. Not sure when. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Please hit that like button. And we will see you all next time.